Hello Domination Animal Lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions and thank you so much for giving so much love to our videos and guys you can watch a lot of uh, new videos on Automation Anywhere A360 the link of this playlist is given in the description box and also in i button and in today's session we are gonna discuss all uh, about the automation anywhere toolbar and the toolkit so there are a lot of uh, tools available in our control room which we will use in today's session so let's start so first of all we can see the start recording tool we use this tool to capture a element the next one is find a file so we can find a file with the help of this tool and search in the board if you want to search anything in the board you can use this feature uh, let me show you just uh, you need to drag drop some actions for example we have this uh, task board and uh, if we search for folder we can see this for line number five is getting highlight and when we search for file this line from line number one to four these are getting highlight and in advanced search also we can see these results and we can apply search filters means uh, uh, which value we can w want to search like uh, in the canvas or the text values or the variable names so you can select uh, these check boxes and filter and apply filter on your search results see if i search my list uh, it is not showing because we are not using my list variable in any of the action and these are the undo redo options we can undo redo and this is the copy item action we can copy the items and paste it uh, in this we can either copy an action or we can uh, cut the uh, cut the action we can paste the items or any actions and this is a copy to shared uh, clipboard so if we want to copy some data from one task and paste it into another task board so we can use this uh, feature copy to shared clipboard so we can copy any action in a shared clipboard and then we can paste the action in another uh, task board so we have these two tasks uh, opened uh, one is number and one is untitled so if i click on uh, if i select all these actions and i click on share uh, copy and uh, let me delete all these and then i can paste the data here so i have pasted the data from another task board and the next option is clear all background breakpoints and also when we click on these three dots we can see a lot of features here uh, first option is run from here so if you want to run the board from this particular uh, line you can run you can select this feature function and uh, we can't run a action which is uh, run from an action which is inside a if condition or a for loop we can't run from that we need to run from the if condition itself we have a third what are they see we have two message boxes hello and hi and uh, if we run from here so first of all it will uh, print hello message then it will show the another message box which will print hey so we have hello and uh, when we click on close we will get hey but if we want to run from line number two only then we can use that feature uh, which is run from here see it has started from line number two and it is it has printed hey only 
so this is how we can uh, run from a specific line and uh, the, there are some another shortcuts copy action cut action paste after action remove action disable action and enable breakpoint so we can uh, if you not want if we uh, are not using any action or if we want to use it in future so we can disable it uh, as of now and in future we can enable this action and sometimes we use the disable uh, disable action feature to for testing a task board so if you want to ta uh, test a particular piece of code so we can disable another actions see uh, it has printed hello only because the hey action is uh, disabled so when we close this hello message box then it will uh, complete uh, i mean the task board will get complete it hasn't printed hey because hey is and uh, is disabled and also when we are going to run in debug mode we can uh, use this enable breakpoint uh, feature to apply a breakpoint and uh, from here we can clear all the breakpoints and assistant tab is for uh, showing the error message or advanced search results so if there is any issue there are a lot of feature in assistant tab uh, in the latest version of the control room search and replace also is available now and debug we can start debugging from here as well see it is showing a purple line uh, now debugging number and we can pause run from uh, this assistant tab also these buttons are available continue to next breakpoint and all and also in our another toolbar also these features are available and uh, when we click on these three dots we can see the file properties from here uh, this is the name of the action name of the task board and description also and this is both insights, packages, dependencies and references, advanced settings. In advanced settings, we can see the board compatibility version, runtime, timeout, automation, priority. And uh, in keyboard shortcuts, you can find all the keyboard shortcuts. And in advanced search, uh, sorry, uh, in dependencies and references, we can see all the available files and on which this task board is dependent so we can see all the dependencies and references from here references are the board that directly depends upon this board and packages uh, on packages we have already posted a video you can check out uh, that video it contains the list of used packages and available packages so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know if you still have any doubt or any question. Bye-bye.